the conditions I have set for my candidacy with you, so I don't leave any doubt in anyone's mind about my intention to change the politics in this country. Sri Lanka will have a new first-time Prime Minister who will be endorsed by the majority. No person who is accused for aiding corruption or directly involved in corruption will be given a ministerial position. All government ministers will be required to publish online asset declarations. Nationalist ministerial positions will be filled by qualified professionals. I will withdraw luxury duty-free vehicle permits for all 225 MPs and put an end to VIP culture in Sri Lanka. Everywhere I went, in every corner of the country, I met women and young people who asked me, what do I have to offer? Will there be more jobs for us? Will there be more opportunities for our families to grow? But one question that was asked over and over was, how do we know that this time there will be change? What is a guarantee that we won't be let down by 225 MPs again? In being asked that question many times, it was clear to me that there is only one way that Sri Lanka's problems can be fixed, and that is to clean up politics in this country. To change this country, we have to clean up politics. We have to change who holds power and how they hold and exercise power in this country. While Sri Lankan citizens are on the brink of losing hope, stranded in a stagnant economy, and their livelihoods threatened by climate change, the old politics continues while a dangerous new undemocratic or anti-democratic political option has arisen. No minister, NGO, or opposition can change this. Your vote is what will end the old politics in this country and usher in a new socially sensitive and citizen-centric politics. Sri Lanka needs a clean-up and my mission is to get the job done. Sri Lankan politics need to be more transparent, open and welcoming to talented professionals who can bring the change we are seeking. But above all, it must be citizen-centric. The old politics must go. Corruption must go. Cronism must go. Nepotism must go. Greed must go. And the politics of privilege must go. One of the most serious ills of this country is the greed of the powerful to hold more power. We have to stop attacking the rank and file who are merely following orders from the higher up and make the leaders responsible. To that end, I would like to share with the nation my zero tolerance approach to rooting out social injustice and greed. If elected president, I will ensure that no minister will be allowed to hold positions where there is a conflict of interest. No minister will be allowed to appoint family members to positions of power. All government ministers will be required to publish online asset declarations. A central database of asset liability and interest disclosures under the bribery commission will be set up. Corrupt politicians will be dealt with the same way drug dealers and abusers of women and children will be dealt with. Swiftly and sternly within the law and with new laws if necessary. I will withdraw luxury duty-free vehicle permits for all 225 MPs and put an end to VIP culture in Sri Lanka. It is time to go beyond conventional party politics, dirty politics, the politics of deals, of entitlement and greed, and to set an agenda of positive development for Sri Lanka. To assure you that I will achieve what I have set out to do, I want to clarify the conditions I have set for my candidacy with you so I don't leave any doubt in anyone's mind about my intention to change the politics in this country. First, Sri Lanka will have a new first-time Prime Minister who will be endorsed by the majority. Second, no person who is accused for aiding corruption or directly involved in corruption will be given a ministerial position. Third, nationalist ministerial positions will be filled by qualified professionals and a percentage of that will be reserved for women to ensure gender and generational balance. Last, no qualitative or macro change in the constitution will be made without broad national and social deliberation and a referendum. 
I would like to end by thanking the people who took the time to listen to what I had to say in the last month. I will repay your trust a hundred times over. Let's get rid of the old politics. Let's deepen our democracy, not sacrifice it. Let's root out social injustice and greed and take Sri Lanka forward together.